Fearless. A character is shown at the start of the movie named Huo. He sees his father while giving the classes of martial arts. He likes it but his father doesn't train him in martial arts because he is a patient of asthma. He has a friend who does his homework. Likewise, Huo gets time for training. His father was on the second number in martial arts in town. Huo's father was challenged by a fighter and was also experienced in martial arts. Huo is confident and thrilled about the fight. He knows his father will win at the start of the match. His father was playing well as he knows he will win. When he was about to defeat his opponent fighter stops his attack. Don't know what he was thinking that maybe the opponent will die with this attack. Getting a chance from it, the opponent fighter starts attacking him. He defeats Huo's father without following the rules. Huo was depressed because of this incident then the man's son comes and challenges Huo. He says my father has defeated you now I will defeat you. Huo accepts his challenge and there was a fight between them. Huo loses and was thinking he will maintain his family's respect. He goes to a library with his friend and steals a book from there. It was a training book and starts training hard day and night. After being trained he challenges the boy for fighting. He was confident here, and he proved it. He fights and defeats the boy. Later, the scene after seven years is shown in the movie. Huo has grown elder and his father has died. His wife has also died but he has a daughter and loves her a lot. She is proud of his life. Huo has become a good fighter and none can defeat him. All the opponent fighters were defeated while fighting with him. He has many fans and followers but now he has become proud. He has forgotten his father's principles. He does many parties even though he drank so much that his daughter keeps on waiting for him. He doesn't give time to his family and is also in debt. He doesn't care about the world and he was in his best friend's restaurant as he has become rich. He has his own restaurant. He drinks a lot and gives food and drinks to his followers. Huo's best friend's assistant tells his friend that he is in debt. He has to return your money as well. His best friend makes him understand you have fans and followers just because you feed them. You should change your habits but it doesn't affect Huo. The next day, he meets his enemy named King, and he is also a good fighter and becomes enraged while talking. Huo becomes aggressive with the companions of King. At night, the followers of Huo are shown bringing a man on a stretcher. They tell him, King, has beaten him and, Huo, becomes furious at it. He reaches the restaurant where he was celebrating his birthday with his family. Huo, starts drinking while sitting at the table nearby. King, arrives and says I don't have to fight with you right now so don't spoil my mood. His friend also makes him understand this isn't the right time to fight. Huo, becomes furious at his friend and says we are no more friends now. He challenges, King, and asks him to fight. Everyone gets scared and moves out for their safety. A huge intense battle is shown between them as Huo and King were left behind. They were the enemies for each other life. Huo was in anger and ends him while attacking his chest. He dies and Huo returns home and finds his mother dead. There was his mother's dead body in bed and he doesn't know how this happened to her. Then he recalls that King's associates had put an end to my family and he was correct. He remembers his daughter and goes to her room for meeting her. As he goes inside he gets his life's biggest surprise. She was dead in her bed and there was blood in her surroundings and a pouch in her hand. She wanted to give it to her father when he will return. The important people in Huo's life have gone far from him and his companions tell him, King, has ended your companion as he has misbehaved with his wife. Huo, thinks. King, has ended the man for saving his wife's life and without thinking, he has taken his life. Huo, was embarrassed and has no reason to stay alive. He is shown sitting in a corner of a ship and thinks he will move wherever this ship will take him. He has no reason to stay alive. He was wandering in the streets for six months and one day he tries to end his life forever. But the people save him while drowning in the river. They brought him into their tribe and cares for him. He comes to his senses but is depressed and wasn't talking to anyone. Then a blind lady named, Moon, takes care of him. She uses to stay worried about him and feeds him. She believes this human will become fine one day. One day, Moon, was cutting, Huo's hair and realized he has come to his senses. She takes him outside to the river and cleans him. After that day, Huo, has become a member of their community. He goes to their farm and works there. Huo, and, Moon, like each other. 
The kids of the tribe steal the cow of the nearby tribe and, Moon, along with their grandmother apologizes to the other tribe's head. They say the kids will be punished and the ones who will commit mistakes will be punished. The punishment is hard and, Huo, says he will be punished instead of kids. His punishment was different. The man says to, Huo, you have to fight with me. They start the fight and, Huo, doesn't want to hurt anyone. He wasn't hitting the man but was just defending himself. The grandmother was encouraging him and hearing her, he attacks him. Finally, the leader loses and appreciates, Huo, the next day, he was sitting in the field with, Moon and the kids were there and say, you fight so well. Trains us in, martial arts. He says I will not teach you as he knows often the people face loss with a lot of power. He wants to keep the peace in the village. One day, Moon, goes to meet her parents on their grave as they were dead. Huo, also misses his parents and he wants to meet them. He also wants to meet them while going to their grave. He plans to go to his village and tells, Moon, about it so she becomes happy. She says I will wait for you and when, Huo, reaches his village it has become a different place. The dynasty has fallen, and many countries have launched attacks on, China, there were also a lot of foreign residents. The culture here also changed as well. Huo, goes to his childhood house and meets his family servant and he welcomes him. Huo, goes to his father's grave. He apologizes to his father and realized why he lost the fight. His father knows people became enemies while having power. He didn't want to harm his family because of him. We discover a wrestler who is challenging people to fight. He is a nice wrestler. None has defeated him until today. He is confident about his victory and, Huo, also reads news about him. He wants to challenge him and goes to his friend. He apologizes to him for what he has done a few years before. He also goes to, King's, family and apologizes to them as well. Huo, informs his friend that he is not the same as before and that he has learned a lot from his acts. His friend discovers he needs money for something. He gives him money without getting laid in, Huo, reaches the race club. His opponent fighter was standing there and the fight will begin between them. Huo, who has learned many things from his mistakes thinks he will fight here but he wants to fight with the owner here. None will insult each other during a fight. Finally, the fight started and, Huo, was winning at the start. Another man who was about to fall on nails and would become injured and will lost his life. And, Huo, saves his life as his opponent fighter was a good sportsman. He accepts his defeat and congratulates him for his victory with honor. Now because of the single fight, Huo, was getting famous day by day. Later, he meets his friend who tells him they have made an athletic association, and they trained the Chinese students there. A foreign chamber is shown who knows about the increasing popularity of Huo. And they don't want Huo to be famous among Chinese people, they are scared of Huo that he may defeat the foreign players. They want Huo to lose the next match. They want an opponent fighter who will defeat Huo, and for this, a man who was sitting promises that Huo will lose this time. The man was named Mr. Mida, and Huo gets ready to participate in the fight. Mr. Mida convinces him and then Huo meets his opponent with whom he will fight. He is also a sportsman and finally, the day of the fight arrives. Three fighters appear in front of Huo, and he fights with them nicely. The fighters couldn't resist in front of him for a long time. Later, his main opponent comes in front as I told you before. And he says the matches before were unfair. We should reschedule them but, Huo, says no problem we can fight without it. The match starts between them and they choose the weapons they like. The fight starts and it was an intense battle. Accidentally, they change their weapons but the opponent couldn't fight with his changed weapon. Huo, says you can take your weapon back from me. They fight again and the first round was drawn. After the first round, they take a rest. Huo, has tea but, Mr. Mida, has mixed poison in his tea and the match starts and, Huo, was fighting. But then he vomits blood. The opponent fighter asks, Mida, to stop the match for a short time as the fighter's life is in danger. None hears him and, Huo, also wants to fight as he knows his death is near. He will fight before death and before dying, he was attacking his opponent's chest for a few seconds before death. Then he stops his punch as he has learned from his mistakes. The opponent has understood why he has stopped his attack. He knew that if, Huo, will hit him he would win. The opponent declares, Huo, a winner. Huo, is shown dead in the end in his friend's arms. 
the opponent is shown saying to, Mr. Mita, you haven't done well. You have taken one's life just to win the game. Mr. Mita, he says, you are a stain on the name of our country. The spirit of, Huo, is seen in front of, Moon's, house in the film's last scene. Moon, is becoming happy to see him and comes to him while running. Moon, can feel him even though she was blind. This is where the film ends.